saying. Well, we'll bet down here and head out in the morning. Oh, hell, well, this here's a nice enough place for a couple of days. And the beer is cool. Yeah, well, I got a tick in my ear that says we ought to move out. That ain't no tick, Will. That's just a little tickling crud from one of your gay senoritas. Nacionalidad y negocio aquí. What'd he say? He wants to know who we are and where we're from. We heard about your beer. <laughs> Gringos. Uh -huh. We're going to have a shootout. Let's pick the place for it. This ain't the time or the place. Estamos de paso. Uh, lindo país. ¿De dónde son ustedes? Uh, somos de Texas. Yankees? That's what, what you call us, friend. ¿Usted habla por el grupo? Algunas veces. Es usted. Venga conmigo. Ya. He wants the palabras, Bella. I'll be seeing you. Well, if it ain't soon, Will, we're going to come looking for you. llamado Texas. Eso está un genio, puede retirarse. Do you like horses, señor? Sure, I like horses. Why are you and your friends in my country? Just passing through. You and your friends were soldiers in the American Civil War? Confederacy. And what is your name? Hanson. Will Hanson. And your rank before? Sergeant. Well, Sergeant, I am a general. General Alejandro Martinez. We are soldiers, you and I. So let us speak openly. You and your friends are pistoleros. Now look, General. You were pursued into a country. You have been observed from the moment you crossed over our border. Now let me be frank. You are not welcome. My country is itself on the brink of a civil war, and men like you only complicate war. Besides, your patriotism is bought for the price of your bullets. You don't want us here? That's fine by us, too. By sunup, we'll be on our way out of your country. Come now, Sergeant. And, and how would you do that? Leave the same way you came in? I'm sure you have no desire to recross the frontier. By the way, what was the reason for your urgent departure? Money? Our man lost. The fortunes of war. But then, defeat is not a stranger to you, is it? So you have lost your patron, and now your services are available. Your kind has only one destiny. From country to country, you will only find another man to pay for your weapons. I guess it's like you say, General. Excellent. Now we will get down to details. My people have wisely seen the advantage of place in the future of our country. 
in my hand. Or the Pacific region here. La Ciudad de San Carlos and the surrounding valley. Within 10 days, I will lead my troops into a pacification campaign of San Carlos. I may encounter some resistance. I must know the number of men and weapons I might face. And you want us to find out, huh? Correct. After an hour's ride from here, you will meet my men, who will guide you over the mountains to this valley. You will lead them and enter San Carlos. Once there, you'll state your reason for being there as, how do you say, passing through. Within three days, you will rendezvous with my guide and pass on to him all necessary information. He will return here, and you'll be free to continue your journey. No gunplay? No. You will be paid half now. Your guy will pay you the rest when you turn over your report to him. <laughs> sure sounds simple. So, it is agreed. You will find that I am not a gunner. What about this guide? He will find you. After an hour's drive tomorrow morning. All right, General. Looks like we dance to your tune. I hope so, Sergeant. See, I am also an unforgiving man. If you fail me, I will follow you to the sea if necessary and find you. Understand? Adios. Adios. At least it's better than being tarred and feathered. Don't give them any ideas. I know you're a lot of them. Where do you need things? No way, bro. What do you say, Will? We ain't wanted. Let's go, boys. All I got to say is this general friend of yours has got a peculiar way about him. It's a mite strange, Will. Well, first he pays us, and then he hustles us out of town like we smell real bad or something. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you about that, eh? Well, you could just shut your jaw, Squirt, because you ain't no magnolia. Like I said, this way he figures nobody will tie us in with him. Anyhow, it's his way. Well, it's don't settle with me. As sure as hell was no choice. Anyhow, we keep our eyes open, our mouths shut. Nobody will get hurt, and we pick up a little eating money. That stumped the charge. Got a feeling the general is a hard, hard man. You know, I have to have a lingo to figure that out. I am here waiting. Come, I lead you to San Carlos. Ayuda? No. Ramon, eres muy casarudo. ¿Qué pasaría si nos perdiéramos? Cállate, mujer. Por favor, señor. Déjanos acompañarlo. And a lost. I guess. Guess we got company.
is here I leave you. This is the valley to San Carlos. I will stay here for three days. At that time you shall come. You must not delay. You understand? I cannot stay longer. The general is waiting. I know. And I have the rest of your money when you return, no? Adios. Adios, senor. Let's move. ¿Quiénes son ustedes, señor? Americanos. Estamos de paso. Entrégame sus armas. Give me a gun. I sure hope you know what we're doing. Dicen que van de paso. Los de atrás son solo los gitanos. Uh, you must forgive this poor hospitality, señores. That we must be careful of strangers. I'm told you're only passing through this valley. That's right. And the gypsies? In this company. We met crossing the mountains. And there is no problem. I'm Juan Hernandez. In these times, Capitan Juan Hernandez. Hanson, Captain. Will Hanson. <laughs> Zyke. Billy. Hank and Jeff. Oh, we kind of figured we weren't welcome. First we go to my uncle, Don Miguel. He's the alcalde. Um, do we get our guns back? Later. Now, if you will follow me, please. Este hombre y sus amigos son norteamericanos. En la carreta solo hay gitanos. Ya veo, muy interesante. Ustedes gitanos se pueden quedar por un tiempo, pero sin trucos. Si hay problemas, se tienen que marchar. ¿Entienden? Gracias, patrón. Muchas gracias. Sus servidores. Vamos. Now, my young friends, let us go inside and talk. You are Americanos. You're a long way from your own country. Sure are. You must have had a tiring journey. Now, will you tell me why you are here? Well, like I told one of your men, senor, we're just passing through. Ah, yes, but why exactly San Carlos? Oh, well, we didn't have much choice. Why is that? It seemed the safest way to come. Is that so? 
after this General Martinez told us to ride out of your country. General Alejandro Martinez? Uh, like I was saying, uh, after running with this here general, we heard that through San Carlos we could ride clear of this fella and go our own way peaceable. So, um, you have been deported by General Martinez? Yes, sir. Those were his very words. You have brought guns with you? Domingo Collos, sus armas. I think perhaps you are soldiers from your American Civil War. And perhaps you have seen other wars since then. Mm, well, you ride far enough, long enough, you kind of get used to the smell of gunpowder. Uh, you and your friends are welcome in San Carlos. We have need of seasoned soldiers. We can put your guns to good use. Well, now, many thanks, senor, but if it's all the same with you, we'd uh, just as soon ride on in a day or two. You do not understand. And Al Martinez is a tyrant. Any time, any day, I expect his soldiers to move on our positions here. It is necessary for us to stop him as men of conscience. Yes, sir. We appreciate that, but you see, we, well, we just figure to mind our own business, uh, respecting your honor. Perhaps it is a matter of money. No, sir, it ain't that at all. It just ain't our war. Yeah, that's about it. Well, of course, this is not your own country. Very well, you are welcome. You will get your guns back. And I am sure we can find a place where you may stay. Que estén comportando, eh? Pero que de ninguna manera se vayan de aquí. Sí, señor. Now, my young friends, if you will accompany my good nephew, he will arrange for your brief stay. Which is great, you see. Uh, maybe later, señor, uh... My name is Will Hanson. Señor Hanson, we will talk more about this, huh? It's your pleasure, señor. you will find this place comfortable. The guard will see that you are not disturbed. His name is Felipe. Unfortunately, he speaks no English. You're right, Hospital Captain. The freedom of San Carlos is yours. Consider yourselves our guests. I will visit you later. Adios. Sir, can you say that about be our guest and Carlos is yours? I'm gonna find me a filly to town. Don't be so all fired rambunctious. Well, you heard him well. That old man, he said, welcome to town. Yeah, but he also told our friend the captain in Spanish to make sure we don't try to ride out of here. And now, we got ourselves a turnkey. Well, oh, hell, so what? We'll scout the men and guns here and get out before the shooting starts. Will you shut your mouth, you big yahoo? What makes you think he can't tell what you're saying? Let's find out. Hey there, fella. You know what? You're the most bug-eyed, flappiest sodbuster I've ever seen. I think I'm going to kick your tail all over this mountain. How you like that, huh? Si, sí, senor. Now, just the same, let's watch what we say. You better believe that old man ain't no fools. He's figuring on something for us. Well, to hell with it, Sergeant Will Hanson. You worry about it. Because I'm telling you, I am going to wash up, beautify myself, and go perform a little neighborly call. And I better get some action, son, because, Billy boy, I'm getting mighty anxious. And you're getting more beautiful every day. <laughs> well, maybe I ought to mosey around. Good idea.
Lewis and the beer station? Uh, I, I'm just looking around. Sorry. I didn't mean to startle you like that. Señor? Well, you go on, you hear? Temo que no le entiendo. Well, I'm a, a stranger in these parts. ¿Qué? Well, I mean, I, I don't savvy Espanol. Sorry. Ah, ya veo. Usted es inglés. Inglés? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. American. ¿Americano? Yeah, from Texas. Yeah, my name's Ike. Ike? Yeah, uh, you know, um, Ike. Ah, sí, entiendo. Su nombre es Ike. Right, and you are Señorita... María Vargas. By God, that's a beautiful name. María Vargas. Lo siento, señor, pero debo dejarlo. Oh, now, hey, hold on just a minute. Well, we just met. Lo siento, señor Ike, pero no puedo hablar aquí con usted. Por favor. Well, that's not very polite. I mean, I am a stranger here. Well, couldn't you just talk to me for a minute? Look, if you give me a second to explain. Bueno, ¿se te ofrece algo? Por favor, padre, debe explicarle a este joven. Padre, I, I didn't mean no offense. It's just a little friendly conversation is all. Él no entiende. Paciencia, María Vargas. Permíteme, yo hablaré con él. I am to understand, do you not speak Spanish? Uh, yes, sir. ¿En norteamericano? Very well. ¿Y entonces qué, María? Padre, yo sé que este señor no me hará daño. Hablamos en el cementerio. Trate de explicarle que no podía permanecer ahí con él. Desde luego. Puedes irte, yo hablaré con él. Lo siento. Espero que usted comprenda. Adiós. Oh, hey, hold on Don't there. with me, my friend. Relax. We shall walk, and I will explain to you. First, you must know, it is different here than in your own country. A girl of good family is forbidden to be alone with a man, especially a stranger. Oh, now, hold on, Padre. I didn't mean no offense. None at all. Of course, of course. Let your temper rest. This girl, Maria, is the only child of an old and respected family. Her mother and father died during an epidemic two years ago. Since then, she has been in our care. We have nuns here, and they look after her. You understand so far? Yeah. I think so. Bueno, that all is sufficient that you may not be alone with her. However, in addition, I must tell you She's promised to another. Another fellow, huh? I am afraid so. Well, that's it, I guess. Boy, I sure made a fool out of myself. Not at all. I've not at all. After all, you could not know. Will you tell her something for me? Of course. That other guy. He's a pretty lucky fellow. Listen to me, my young Americano. You have many years yet to know and discover love. It is more different than just meeting a pretty girl on an old shore cemetery. Someday, you will find the girl destined for you. I know. I just did. Thanks anyway, Padre. <laughs> Come on, Ike. Not a 
Sick or something? Hey, don't steam up over me, Annie. I'll see you, huh? Well, you better get a move on, or all you're gonna get is leftovers. Come on, big man. See you later, Hyde. Yeah. I'll see you, Billy. You all right? I knowed you long enough to know when you got something in your craw. God damn it. Can't a guy just lie down to catch his breath without everybody trying to put burrs in his britches? Hey, you go up there, boy. Just inquiring. I'm fine. I guess I'm just all in. Hell yeah, yes, it's what we all ought to do. Get some rest before we're on our way again. How much further, Will? How far we gotta go? Hell, it ain't all up to me, you know that. We stop any time you and the boys want to. I'm scared, Will. I'm scared to go on, and, and I'm scared to go back. Sometimes I, I don't know what we're running to or what we're running from. All that Yankee crud in Texas, that's what we left behind. And you know it. Yeah, well, that was yesterday's war. And it's over. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of fighting. I'm sick of fighting other people's wars. Uh, I guess maybe you're right. It's a long ride back. Maybe too long. See you, boy. Thank <laughs> you.
Until now, we do not speak. Yet we have said much. No, wait. I beg you. I am Gypsy. I have danced before with men who take not love, you understand. This is dance. I never danced before. I give to you. My mouth tastes like I've been drinking cheap. <laughs> you look a little furry. Oh, it was some last night, I'll tell you. Where'd you wind up? Just past the time. You should have been with us, Will. You really made it, huh? Uh, what's that on your neck? Huh? What's that on your neck? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just a few scratches. How'd you kill him? Fell off my horse. <laughs> Who are you giving that to? I don't know what it was when you was riding when you fell off, but there weren't no horse. This nigga got claws like a lion. Come on, now tell old Hank what kind of pussycat you've been wrestling with. Well, I guess, I guess you can believe what you want. <laughs> so the ruckus. Are you still drunk? Hell no. Well, hot damn, if tired old sergeant still don't have a lot of juice left in him. What, uh, is all that about? Oh, oh nothing. He's still full of sour mash and pepper. Say, you, uh, you better get Billy and Jeff. We got a lot to do. We'll split up. Just act natural. Count the men with the guns. Supposing we're asking what we're moseying around for. Uh, just be kind of casual. Tell them you're an admirer of nature or something like that. I think I'll ride up that way, by that old monastery. You got a little religion, Ike? Oh, it's all right, as long as we cover the whole valley. Then tomorrow, we'll meet Paco, tell him what we know, collect our money, and we're on our way. Well, that's what we want, ain't it? We don't want to stay around here for the fireworks. A uh, hell no. All right, Hank, Jeff, Billy, Ike.
llegó aquí. Usted está loco, completamente loco. Oh, I just couldn't stay away. I had to see you. Usted no puede estar aquí, ¿me entiende? Oh, you gotta be the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Por favor, escuche. Usted debe irse aquí ahora, rápido. Oh, I think I get you. You want me to go? Sí, váyase. Ahora, antes de que el padre lo encuentre. Oh, the padre, huh? Okay, but first you gotta promise to me. You meet me outside in the cemetery, ¿sabe? Outside in the cemetery. Sí, sí, el cementerio, pero váyase inmediatamente. You're more beautiful when your temper's up. Senor, this is impossible. You understand? No, ma'am. Nothing's impossible. Dios mío, ¿qué puedo hacer para explicarle a este necio? Oh, listen now. One momento, por favor. Sammy? Senorita Maria, I love you. You understand me? Do you know what I'm saying? Sí. Sí, entiendo. Why, are you mad? Angry? No, señor. I... Lo siento por usted. I don't understand you. But it doesn't matter. See, I guess I won't see you anymore anyhow. But you see, it don't matter. And tomorrow, uh, uh, mañana, vamos. I leave. Ah, ya veo. Usted partirá mañana. Yeah. Mañana. Oh, but I sure don't want to. I'll never forget you. By God, I swear I won't. Could... Can I... Can I take just a little piece of your hair? Keep it always. Mi pobre americano, esto es lo poco que puedo darle. Listo, compañero. Hey, I know him. That's the captain. Usted no entiende. Hi there, captain. I oh, fancy meeting you out here. No. Doña María, está usted muy bella, como siempre. Gracias. Ese señor vino a visitar el monasterio. Nos conocimos por accidente. Claro. Un accidente. How do you like the monastery, señor? Oh, it's right nice. Strange, señor. I would not take you to be a religious man. Oh, well, I'm interested in a lot of things, Captain. You'd be surprised. Very well. Buenos dias, Juan. And you, my John Americano. You know this man, Padre? Of course. He's welcome here. Why don't we all go inside? You can refresh yourself. Please. I think not, Padre. I think a friend has seen enough. I'm sure there are many other things he's anxious to see in some colors. Is it not so? Well, now that sounds mighty like an invitation to leave, Captain. As you wish, Senor. I accept your offer, Captain. Seeing as how you're kind enough to show me these other fancy sights. Of course. There are many other days. And much time to enjoy the beauty of the monastery. Hasta mañana. 
Adiós, padre. Hasta mañana, Juan. Goodbye, señor. I hope you have a good journey. Señor. Thanks, Padre. I'll be seeing you. of our customs? Done. And you must understand, we do not tolerate interference in a way of life. You're beating around a bush, Captain. Why don't you come right to the point? Bueno, before the father and mother of Doña Maria died, it was understood that at a reasonable time, I would marry their daughter. Was that Maria's idea? You're a fool, senor. If you would understand our ways, you would know a daughter obeys the wishes of our family. Where I come from, it's the girl who decides if and who she accepts. Listen to me, my friend. In a few days, you leave here. If you will not return, this valley will only be a memory. I was born here. Maria was born here. We have known each other all our lives. You think for a moment, because you have eyes like a sick calf, I would let some gringo satisfy his passion. Forgive my words. But tell me. What would you do if you were me? You made your point, Captain. I hope so. There is nothing in life worth more than honor. For Doña Maria's honor, I will kill you if necessary. <laughs> Me too. I guess maybe we ought to decide right now just where we're going. Well, get it up. You want to turn around and go home? You ask me if I want to be there. Sure. It's a going that makes you think. We could head for the coast to take a boat. Oh, come off it, Will. That takes money. We'd never raise the ante. Well, then, for now, we can't go back. We sure as hell can't stay here. So I guess we go on across the other side of the mountain. What do you expect we'll find there, Will? Well, it's probably just another mountain. We'll ride out at sunup, so let's get some early sleep. Yeah, I guess. I'm still a little stiff from last night. Yeah, me too. I can use some sleep. I'll be back early myself. Say there, Will. Uh, you know something about people down here? So? Well, what about a girl from a good family? You know, a, a really nice girl. What about them? A nice girl's a nice girl anyway, I reckon. Oh, it's different. You know, they got all kind of fancy rules. I guess they have it that. Well, uh, how do you go about making a good impression on one of them? Well, you know, let her know you care. I figured on something like that. With you being all moon-faced and clucking like a sick hen lately? Damn it, Wilma. Don't you go making fun of me, you hear? I'm not joshing you, boy. I guess I know how it is. Well, I... I suppose the best way to make a good impression is with the girl's folks. Real proper and all. What else? How the hell do I know? I suppose you could try serenade her. Serenade? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they go for that real big down here. Yeah. Thanks, Will. I see you, boy. Billy! Hey, Billy! What's wrong? Tonight, you better sing like a bird. Oh, I'm all in, Ike. No kidding. Now, you listen to me. You're going to have the honor of serenading the most beautiful girl you have ever seen. <laughs> 
Why the hell am I the only one who plays guitar around here? Come on. Where the hell are we, Ike? Now, just hold your britches. Now, we just gotta figure out which window's hers. I still wish you'd tell me where we are. We're at a convent next to the monastery. At least I think we are. Is she a nun? Of course not. Come on. Come on, come on. I sure don't like it. Don't like it at all. Oh, you're just ignorant. Now, Will knows all about these kind of things. You gotta make the right impression. That's what these here Latins appreciate. But don't figure how you can make a good impression by throwing stones at a window in a convent. You'll see. ¿Quién está ahí? ¿Quién es? I'm tired, Ike. Let's go on back. No, come on, come on. The next one will be it. You'll see. There. There, you see? You see, I told you. One thing, you sure made an impression. What happened, Mila? Tell me. Maybe she don't hear too well, gringo. Oh, well. You understand pretty good, don't you? All right, how much? Senor? You savvy, Gypsy. How much to let her go? Leave here. You want to buy her for yourself? How much to let her go her own way? She is not for sale. I said. How much? 
No, senor. I give you gift. Something of Mila for you to remember. <laughs> Weapon. You will not kill me. Yes, I will, so it don't matter. I will not fight. Of course, it ain't as neat as a knife. Perro! Mata me! Mata me! I hope you understand. You must stay here. I'm sure in a few days we will return your weapons to you and you will be free to go. I guess we've heard this speech before. We will see that you are comfortable. But if you try to leave, the guards have orders to shoot. Real friendly. Adios, senores. Thank you. 
that's all about. Sure as hell ain't the 4th of July. What do we do now, Will? I think we'll find out soon enough. General Martinez and his soldiers may be here by tomorrow. Of course, this changes everything. I figured it would. We will need every man to defend San Carlos. I guess. You and your friends are trained soldiers. Experienced. What is it you want us to do? Well, there is a problem. Your trouble with the gypsies causes bad talk among my people. So? So, I am prepared to give you your freedom. Let us say I will allow you to escape on one condition. What's that? That your four friends remain here and help us defend the city. Suppose we refuse. Do not take my offer so lightly. I'm a desperate man in a desperate circumstance. I will not hesitate to execute all of you. After all, this is a war. Well, I suppose I might as well tell you, senor. Me and the boys, we don't give a damn about your war. I guess that don't matter much, seeing as how you got everything worked out. You don't give us much choice. I'm glad you understand. There's just one thing. If my friends stay, I stay too. I'm sorry, that is impossible. If I allow you to stay here and fight beside my people, the murderer of the gypsy will be on my head. You don't really think you've got a chance against this General Martinez and his army. You're not only outnumbered, all you've got is a bunch of farmers. I'm a practical man. If we can delay his army long enough, perhaps he will compromise. All we desire is that we be left alone so we can live our own lives in peace. Yeah, yeah we know just how you feel. Now then, uh... It will be arranged for you and the gypsy woman to leave tonight. Hold on now. What's this about the gypsy girl? She must leave with you. The sooner you two are gone from here, the sooner my people will forget. Why can't she stay with them gypsies she was with? Since they are gone since yesterday. Bad blood between them and your woman. The gypsy Ramon was their brother. I guess you better let me go talk to my friends. Now you listen to what I say. I'm going straight over the back of this mountain. Follow a stream on the other side to a small pueblo. There's Santa Tomas. Understand it ain't too far, about 30 miles. We'll meet you there. Look here, Will. First thing in the morning, we're going to skip out here and join you. Oh, hey there, Jeb. Now, don't rush the man. After all, he's... He's got company with him. It's kind of like one of those, uh, romantic honeymoons. Want to take my guitar, Will? Ain't that a kick in the tail? This is Will Handsome. Hey, no, hold on there. Nobody's branded me yet. Not by a long shot. Just doing a girl a favor. Did you ever hear such hogwash in your whole life? You better declaw that gypsy before she tickles your back again. You watch out for that general fella. I don't guess he likes us too much. I'll watch out for I do not agree with my uncle, the Alcalde. This is not your war, but it is wrong what he does. I must obey his orders. I understand. So you may know when the fighting is over. Your friends will ride out of San Carlos, free men. I swear it on my honor. I guess that's good enough, Captain. Thank you.
supuesto que comprendes mis razones. Buenas noches, tío. talking about? No, no, it's all right. I understand I'm ugly now. Oh, don't talk crazy. No, you are sorry for me, I know. But this, you cannot forget this. Well, now, you know it and I know it, but I don't see how it's noticeable. I mean, with all that pretty black hair. You're crazy, Gringo. Well, careful now, Wildcat, or I'm going to have to start wearing cowhide on my back. Buenas noches. Nos volvemos a encontrar. So it is you, Sergeant. I send my men out, and you are the fish they have caught. I don't suppose I could explain what happened. I mean, why we didn't meet up with Paco. As I told you, I do not tolerate failure for any reason. Yeah, I kind of figured that. What is it? What is it, Wonderland? I have some business with the general. Correction, Senor. We had some business, but it is now what I meant. Now, look here, General. There are still some things you ought to know. You have failed me, Sergeant. I told you I was an unforgiving man. I'm sorry. A la mujer déjenla ir. A él llévenlo. Y cuélguenlo. ¡No! Por favor, we want you to harm and they ought to be better done. Listo, señor. Sergeant Hanson is dead, hanged by General Martinez. I, I don't believe it. 
believe it. Oh, hell, I don't believe it either. A Will's tougher than 20 Cougars. They'd never get a rope on him. This girl's crazy enough, bat in a belfry. I don't know. Let's go. You cannot. I have no authority. And also, it is too dangerous. What, do you think we're going to leave him out there swinging? No. Well, then you just better get our guns and step aside, Captain. Traga sus armas. I go with you. But we must be careful. <laughs> to tell the boys to go home. Yeah. Yeah, he'd say that. Except that he never made it. No. You're wrong. Will's home. Will's gone home. I understand how sad this is for you. But we cannot stay here. Let us take his body back to San Carlos and he will be buried with honor. Honor? You know what I think of your honor, your damn town and your war? No. No, it ain't gonna be anywhere but here. This is where he died. San Carlos, el tirano Martínez nos pidió que nos rindiéramos. Le dije que no lo haríamos y que si era necesario, pelearíamos hasta la muerte. What's he saying, Ike? Well, that don't take much guessing. Most likely a lot of hot air to give him a little backbone. A bit of hot pepper. Ahora les pido que sigan a sus oficiales con lealtad y coraje.
Downright dull for the general. I mean, there just ain't no fun in it for him. Well, now, maybe we ought to see if we can make him more of a party. You've got your tail. I guess you know you're taking a hell of a licking. If you mean you are, we are losing. Yes. I do not think we have a chance. Well, I reckon you're right. Maybe we can do something to even things up a bit. What do you want? Some gunpowder and some clay pots. Bombas. They're all the made. Send the bombas. Is that what you want? Now, there's a genuine firecracker. We'll take them all. Hold on. Adios, Captain. Amigos, right, we need your cart, savvy? Huh? Now, we also need your your hats here, oh, yeah, right? It... You're just a master of language, Ike. Don't stop now. Hell, I ain't got time to be polite. Okay, come on, let's have it. Hey, you got a way, though?
Ain't that beautiful? Wish Will could have seen it. How about the munition? ¿Cuánto tiempo más resistirán los cañones? Quizá una hora, no más. Tengo un ejército de estúpidos e idiotas. Ordenen cesar el fuego. ¡Alto el fuego! más sangre. Quizás lo que usted lamenta es la pérdida de municiones. Lo único que queremos es paz. Sus soldados deben salir de San Carlos. De acuerdo. ¿Entonces se irán? Sí. Pero tengo mis condiciones. Yo gobernaré mi país sin ninguna intervención suya. ¿Qué más? Aquí se encuentran mis traidores. En su ciudad. ¿Quién es? Los jóvenes gringos, yo los quiero. I suppose we should thank you, but I have just learned you were in the service of Martinez. He paid you to spy on us. Phew. Silencio. You have no allegiance and no cause. You betrayed them. You are traitors. I guess we are attacked. Well, you forget, senor, what they did to Sergeant Hansen. This is not your authority. We have reached an arrangement with His Excellency, General Martinez. I have given him my word. That as criminals, you will be turned over to him. It is a matter of honor. Did you ever hear such downright hogwash in your whole life? Oiga, me viejo estúpido. Usted no sabe lo que es el honor. Now, take her easy, Captain. Don't matter no how. Now, maybe you ended your war, but we ain't settled our business with the general. I guess. Matter of fact, we are just on our way to pay him a little. No need for all that highfalutin talk about it. What was it he said, fellas? He said one of them fancy words. He said honor. Yeah. Wasn't it? I'll go with you. It's not your war no more, Captain. I have made it mine. Better not. I don't think you know what you're in for. I know what you must do. For you and I, must be this way. Juan se prudente. You're okay, Captain. Well, adios, Your Honor. Hey, and, uh, 
it's any consolation to you. You're no worse than that yellow-bellied snake, Martinez. One! Oh, 
Like the wild oats they come The wild oats have no